Mayor Erica here, a.k.a. Topanga Malanga, with the newest edition of Malanga Langa Langa Movies and Music Mondays. Guess who got her voice back? I did! I believe this is episode number three. Three, I think we've gone over this before, because two was last week, and then the one before that was one, and to me that makes the most sense. Mm -hmm. Plus, I'm not very good at coming up with catchy titles like the other guys. Pity me. I asked you guys a question last week. I got some comments back, and I really appreciate the time it took to do that. So let me tell you what some people said. Paramore 100 fan said that they didn't really have a song that reminded them of their mom. Just a song about getting annoyed really easily, which was funny, because moms tend to do that, don't they? Adriana said, Uninvited by Alanis Morissette reminds her of her mom. And Cole said, Bon Jovi reminds him of his mom, which is sort of similar to me. My mom's a big Bon Jovi fan. I'm a big Bon Jovi fan. Bon Jovi was actually my first ever concert that I went to. And I'm also from Jersey, so that probably has something to do with it. There are tons of songs that remind me of my mom, whether it's because we sang it together in a supermarket or in the car or because she doesn't like it, and I remember that. <laughs> but one song that every time I hear, I automatically think of my mom is You're My First, My Last, My Everything by Barry White, and actually pretty much anything by Barry White. I can remember sitting in the car with her one time, and that song came on, and she just lit up and started singing along, and it's a lovely memory, and every time I hear any of his songs, I remember that, and it makes me feel really good inside and happy. Thanks for responding, and you know what would be awesome is, you know, if you uh, commented back on this little question. What is your favorite disaster film? Yeah, like Twister or something, Armageddon. I don't know. You tell me. I'm, I'm giving you ideas. Don't, do not say Twister, and do not say Armageddon. No, I'm kidding. You can use those if you want. I mean, I can't take those from you, right? That's probably not fair. I don't know. I had a crazy, crazy week last week. It was nuts. And that's probably because some of it was spent at home in Maryland, and the other parts of it were spent here in Philadelphia, where I go to school to learn. School has been difficult lately because it's winding down. I'm almost done. I get to go home for summer soon, and I'm really excited about that. But the ending weeks are always filled with work and exams and stuff. So if I seem a little testy in my upcoming videos, blame it on school because that's what I blame everything on. But school isn't the only thing that's been getting on my nerves lately. Mm -mm. This week's topic is partly inspired by yours truly. Mm -hmm. You see, this week's topic is anger, and while, I mean, I'm never angry, I was angry last week because all these people were, like, letting me down. My best friend bailed on me while I was home, and then another friend bailed on me, like, the next day, and it was kind of ridiculous. I also had an issue with dudes, and if you don't like dudes, uh, you can go on my channel. I have this lovely video titled Topanga Tidbit Boys Suck, and you can weigh in on the subject. I've had a couple of people who feel really strong one way or the other, mostly guys. They don't like this idea of boys sucking, but if, uh, if you agree with me, definitely hop in. I need some, I need some support. So along with anger about extra work in class and anger about friends bailing and anger because boys suck, there was also another kind of anger that I deal with, and it's fake anger because I'm really good at faking anything. And so the anger faked was, and I was gonna, I was gonna hold off on this. I was gonna pull this card later down the FFF line, but I'm going to do it now because, well, what time is better than the present? And this card is the Arcane's card. <laughs> Just, I, th I, th I threw it. I threw it so fast that I don't think he saw the card. Mm. I hope, yeah. Did you, did you get the, did you get the card? I, I, I threw it and then, I'm kidding. It wasn't a real card. It was a figurative card. Anyway, the Arcanes are a band that I met in Boston a couple months ago. They're from Liverpool and uh, I liked them a lot when I first met them. Their music's great and they had cool accents and they were fun. And then I got to know them more and now I hate them. Not really. What I've done, and this is to be kept on the DL, is set up this boycott idea, right? Where I boycott them so that people go, oh, 
There's a reason to boycott them. I'll have to look them up. I just want to spread some arcane love places. But the thing is, you can't tell anybody that I love them. Don't do it. Don't do it. They can't know. I've got them thinking that I hate them right now, and it's working really, really well. Because then they bust my chops, and it puts a fire in my belly to make more boycott videos. So, if you're interested in joining my anti-Archames task force, go on to my channel. There's a video with directions about uploading a response and stuff like that. And there's, of course, a link for you to listen to their music. Because I think if you listen to it, you'll like it, because I like it a lot. So, anger, real fake whatever. It's the topic this week for all of us FFFers and I deal with anger uh, in really healthy ways. I burn things. No, I'm kidding. Like I said, I don't get angry a lot, but when I do get angry, I cry. I cry like crazy mad tears. And that doesn't happen a lot. I can cry whenever I want. I think that has something to do with it. Like I don't cry when I'm sad. I cry when I'm mad. It's probably not good. <sighs> So I figure since this week's music, rather than movies like next week, I would uh, talk about like angry music. I'm angry. I like to listen to really loud music. No, I actually don't. I like to listen to Taylor Swift and Toby Keith because they're both so like lovable but rough at the same time because Taylor Swift, like if you break her heart, she will write a song about you and it will be humiliating. And then Toby Keith, like he is totally like a country kick-ass man. Like, ha ha. He'll stick a foot up your ass because it's the American way, right? I think I'm remembering those lyrics correctly. I don't know. Anyway, that's it for me here in Philadelphia. Um, as the show says, it's always sunny here. That's a lie. It's really not. But it is very nice. So I think I'll go out and enjoy my day. And I hope you do the same. Uh, so that's it for me. Ciao, ciao.